people. Power anywhere where there's people. A lot of people get the word revolution mixed up. And they think revolution is a bad word. Revolution is nothing but like having a sore on your body and then you put something on that sore to cure that infection. And I'm telling you that we're living in an infectious society right now. I'm telling you that we're living in a sick society right now. I'm telling you that we're living in a sick society and anybody that endorses integrating into a sick society before it's cleaned up is a man who's committing a crime against the people. And what we're simply saying is that the leaders are having to become more responsible and accountable for their actions. I'm saying that any program that's brought into our community should be analyzed by the people of that community. It should be analyzed to see that it meets the relevant needs of that community. I mean, honestly, people, we got to face some facts. That the masses are poor. The masses belong to what you call the lower class. And when I talk about the masses, I'm talking about the white masses. I'm talking about the black masses. I'm talking about the brown masses and the yellow masses, too. We got to face the fact that some people say you fight fire best with fire. But we say, you, we say you put out fire best with water. We say you don't fight racism with racism. We gonna fight racism with solidarity. We say you don't fight capitalism with no black capitalism. You fight capitalism with socialism. But we ain't gonna fight no reactionary pigs who run up and down the street being reactionary. We're gonna organize, dedicate ourselves to the revolutionary political power and teach ourselves the specific needs of resisting the structure of our power. Arm ourselves. I said we're gonna fight reactionary pigs with the international proletarian revolution. That's what it's gotta be. The people have to have the power, the people belong with the power. Now what do we do? We say that the Breakfast for Children program is a socialistic program. It teaches the people that basically by practice, we thought of and let them practice that theory and expect that theory. What's more important? You learn something just like everybody else. Martin Luther King said that it might look dark sometime, and it might look dark over here on the north side, but we're not afraid about being in the dark. He said that the arm of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards heaven. We got Huey P. Newton in jail, and Eldridge Cleaver underground. We got our apprentice Bunchy Carter has been murdered. Bobby Hutton and John Higgins been murdered. And a lot of people think that the Black Panther Party in a sense has given up. But let us say this, that we've made the kind of commitment to the people that hardly no one else has ever made. We've decided that although some of us come from what some of you call petty, bougie families, though some of us could be in a sense what you call from the mountaintop, we could be integrated into the society working with people that we may have never had a chance to work with. Maybe we could be on that same mountaintop, and maybe we wouldn't have to be hiding when we go to places like this and we speak. Maybe we wouldn't have to worry about court cases and going to jail being sick. When we say that even though all those luxuries exist on the mountaintop, we understand that you people and your problems are right here in the valley. We the Black Panther Party, because of our dedication and understanding, went into the valley knowing that the people are here in the valley. Knowing that our plight is the same plight as the people in the valley. Knowing that our enemies are on the mountain and our friends are in the valley. And even though it's nice to be on the mountaintop, we're going to go back to the valley. Because we understand that there's work to be done in the valley. And when we get through with this work in the valley, we're going to go to that mountaintop. We're gonna go to that mountaintop because there's a motherfucker on that mountaintop that's playing king. And he's been bullshitting us. And we've gotta go on that mountaintop, not for the purpose of living like he lives, living his lifestyle. That's not it. We gotta go up on that mountain table to make that motherfucker understand that goddamn it, we are coming from.